that every time we have the computer out or have any computer out, the cats want to sit directly on or in front or uh, just like on the computer. True. Anyways, this is going to be a fun time. <laughs> this is why we're just going to do a quick episode. Yeah. So, hello, everyone. We are back we're with. Back. Uh, we're, back. we're back. We're back. We're uh, back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if, if you lived with us, you would just fucking. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, so today we're doing a quick audio pod. Uh, we're going to do alternating <coughs> weeks with video, audio, video, audio uh, to just try and maximize our time here in maximize. the pod space. Okay, hey, no, guys. Got, okay, no, I have like my brain is going a mile a minute right now. So, hello, Alex. Hello, Ashley Markham. Don't ever refer to me as my legal name <laughs> ever again. <laughs> um, yeah, at least w- I think it, I think the audio is working fine. So, so hopefully <laughs> we this is going to be primarily a TV show episode because we've yeah. watched so many TV shows. Uh, but we did just watch the first Omen, and I will say I personally hated it no 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 no. i genuinely loved it i thought it was really good immaculate was like it pales in comparison to how good i thought the omen the first omen was i mean it was very predictable don't get me wrong but we've got a lot of trash lately yeah it was pretty good yeah uh, we are going. We'll get into that in a different podcast yeah, we'll, we'll, episode. We'll return to that. Put a <laughs> we'll put a pin in yeah, that. Like fifteen shows to talk about. Well, speaking of shows, um, there is a show that I do want to get into uh, after the movie we watch tonight because we are watching Tarot tonight. Thoughts coming. Thoughts. Uh, thoughts to follow, but. Uh, I want to start watching the show called Dancing with the Devil about the 7M cult on TikTok. Uh, but I believe it is on Netflix right now. So right. Uh, we'll possibly report back with our thoughts on that as well. Okay. Yeah, sure. Is that like a show, like a mini series? It's or like what? a little dog, like a couple part episode <clears throat> docu series. Well, speaking okay. of, we started watching the Barbie and Ken Killer uh, mini series about Carla Homolka and Paul Bernardo. If you guys are into true crime, but it is a four part series, and the second episode alone is an hour and a half. Like right. they are dragging it out. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah, it's pretty interesting, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, should we get into our list of shows, other shows that uh, aren't like just docu series? Well, I, I had to try to get you know whatever was on my <laughs> mind off my mind first. <laughs> right. Well, we watched. Well, we just finished Under the Bridge today. Yeah, that show was so good. While you cried. I, I, the, okay, so the ending, as soon as the parents put Biggie on, it right. was like they finally accepted their daughter, you know? Like, that was right. the part for me where I was like, oh, my God. But if you guys, like, it was about, like, a true story. I am very much into true crime. I am very much into crime, <laughs> not personally. We're into crime. We're into this crime. This is a crime podcast. We're, we're a crime pod. We're going to let you know all of our crimes. <laughs> right. Should we tell the story of the pre- person that we know that is co- that is committing crimes now? Oh, my God. I don't even want to, like, I don't even want to name names, guys. But this girl I grew up with, I can't even, this girl I grew up with. On we her, just saw her, like, not that long ago either. And, okay, unfortunately, like, she has fallen into... Uh, a cycle of not very good mental health mixed with a cocktail of I don't know what kind of drugs. Right. Uh, and has met an unsavory person. But we saw an Instagram story the other day and it was like 
Uh, thank you for the 12 bikes. I didn't need 12 bikes. But can you stop bringing home hockey sticks? Because <laughs> right. we don't need <laughs> hockey sticks. Like, I... Yeah, and they were like hanging out at Circle. At the, yeah. Behind but, the Circle K, which is where all the bad criminals uh, hang out. The crims. <laughs> right. That's it. If you guys heard the last pod, that's what we call criminals in this house. Crims. crims. Um, but yeah, this is our crime pod. Crime pod, crime pod. <laughs> yeah, I had to get that. I don't know where that tangent came from. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta tell you about that one. It's, but um, speaking yeah. of under the bridge. Un- no, under the. We literally are under the bridge. What do you mean? They're making a new one here. Oh yeah, a second bridge. It's scary how watching the watching a bridge get built. <laughs> this is actually the third bridge because they are they already have like a semi built one. Yeah, but, but I feel like this is like anywhere. the 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 other one wasn't as pu- uh, publicized as the like one right now is. Right. Uh, I feel like the Ambassador Bridge was very publicized when I was a little girl, but I don't remember anything about the other bridge that was built. And this right. one seems like it's been very publicized. Yeah. And I bet yeah. you it's because like you're gonna be able to walk. walk to the states now yeah that's crazy that feels like a long ass walk <laughs> it is imagine going to like uh, getting off because you can like some of the places are not too far off the off the bridge and tunnel uh, like so imagine like going to like a concert venue and just walking home <laughs> drunk right. Right. across a bridge that's how that's how deaths happen true true maybe they won't let, allow that type of stuff can we also talk about the amount of people who have drowned lately around us yeah it's pretty crazy that makes me so sad that like people just don't know how to swim and get swept up in a current and end up unaliving Be- i'm not sure that everybody had that happen but where they just like couldn't swim well that's in my good conscience because i don't know how to swim so in my head, if you're right. drowning, it's because you don't know how to swim. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this is why we can't just do a short pod because we get fucking going on tangents. <laughs> uh, um, under the bridge. Yeah. Uh, we'll wrap that up. Um, was a true story about a young girl <laughs> who was murdered under a bridge. Right. In Canada. In Canada. Um, and the story was told. Uh, th- Canada. through the there was a woman writing a book about some young girls at a like a a, a home for girls um <clears throat> and she kind of got entangled with the group of girls that right. murdered the young girl uh Rena Verk and uh wrote a story about it in the show kind of portrays that and it's very sad but I was like I don't know if she like got like entangled with that group well that's really shitty of them to portray it look at making it seem like she was a part of their crew then because like she was dropping she acid was, with them she was a part of the crew and i'm just kidding i don't um, like it makes sense because she was like close with the warren kid because like they, um i don't know yeah okay criminals well, no no dead air no dead air no dead air <laughs> anyway okay so lily <laughs> gladstone in this show i thought lily gladstone was real that last episode when you, when you see her kind of break the she she's a cop in the show uh yeah. but she's also adopted into a white family and right. to see that her father adopted her out of like a program True. and then put her into that girls school that we were talking it's so sad oh my god you guys gotta watch it it's so good <laughs> yeah um and lily gladstone did a good job in this this show i think she was really good it was nice to see her <clears throat> In because she was in a few episodes of Res Dogs, which we right. love, we love Res Dogs so much. Um, so it was nice to kind of see her return to television, right? Because she was in, um, I don't, I, I don't know why for some reason my brain went crimes of the future, killing of a sacred deer, <laughs> right? Uh, killers of the flower moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> which was also a fantastic film and a story that i think was maybe told a little bit too late but still told effectively true um yeah by the way i can't find any uh 
like info on whether Rebecca Godfrey was like like I, I guess she grew up in that area. Yeah, I think she went to that girls' school. Um I'm not sure about that, and I'm not sure that she had any like direct connection with the people at all. I think she was just like interested in the case because of the fact that she grew up there and it was like so close to home and it was so like brutal to like learn about and then decided to like get like, re- you know, like research a lot of it. And she had like the police files and everything. So they just put her character mm-hmm. in the show. I think so. Yeah. I Well, I think, I mean, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe somebody could like leave it in the comments if they know more, but uh just from what I read online, it seemed like she just kind of like, maybe they just like wrote her in there as like a character, like a dramatic character arc. Okay, well, we which don't, isn't at that shitty. I, I was think. gonna say, did her brother really like off himself because of her? Like, was that real? I think that she did have like a tragedy like in her life, like that. Oh my god! Um, and I think they might have just like put her in the show. Um, maybe as like an homage to her because like she passed she away passed before away. the show came out and like before they could really work on it. Right. Um, but yeah. But either, either way, it's a good show. Oh, it's before like a, I get too carried away. I don't think it'll be. You were like, oh, there's going to be like a season. I don't think there's going to be. No, I, I was like, they better not like anthology this show. Uh, right. Um, but before I get too carried away, I just want to like make a quick note because I did not write this down at all. Um, I want to talk about White Lotus season three really quickly because I'm really excited for it. Uh, right. <laughs> but Walton Goggins joined the cast, yep. which I think is He's so exciting. Um, speak- speaking of Walton Goggins, um, my manager at work uh, was like, have you seen Sons of Anarchy? Right. And I was like, of course, that is like one of the greatest shows ever. Alex has not watched it, but I think he would mm-hmm. like it if he gave it a chance. Um, I am I not, I, that, as but... I am sitting here wearing a Harley Davidson shirt, I am not a motorcycle gal. Right. But... <laughs> you're, you're into motorcycles. <laughs> I am into, I am into <laughs> motorcycles. <laughs> I'm into <laughs> motocross, dude. No. <laughs> Metal oh militia. God. Yeah, you are a metal militia. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I exclusively wore metal militia clothes? Right. <laughs> Anyways, what was I talking about? Um, the uh, Sons of Anarchy. Oh, okay. oh, so 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 um, she was like, okay, so who's your favorite character? And she was like, I love Jax, like obviously, whatever. Right. Um, I was like, okay, but I, the best character is Venus. And she's like, who the fuck's Venus? And I was like, that's Walton Goggins playing a trans woman. Like, that's the best character on the fucking show. You're wild. Oh, my God. It was so good. He's so good. Speaking of trans people, Drag Race. Right. (laughs) Gottmik's on there. Gottmik is is going. That is my prediction. Gottmik is going to win. Right. Gottmik is so good. She's... Well, he, but she, you know, she in drag is so they, they, sorry, they, um, um they are so talented. Um, you know, I just feel like they are going to win you, this whole you season. You don't think Angeria is going to win? I want Angeria to win. I do because I think Angeria is so funny. She's right. so funny. You ugly bitch. You know, right. like she's so funny. <laughs> But I really think that Gottmik yeah. has it. She is the first drag queen to win both the ball and the snatch game on her season. Both times. On her season and on All-Stars. Yeah, that's crazy. And she's not going to be here when they come into our city. Yeah, I mean, who wants to come here anyway? Well, Angeri is going to be here. I wouldn't but be surprised me, if they, like, cancel. That makes me feel like Gottmik already won. And, like, that was already pre-filmed. And that's my prediction that Gottmik wins. Right. Right. Mm. But I'm, I'm very excited. Mm. The Snatch Game was very funny. They did the Snatch Game of Love last week. And uh, both um, Chanel and uh, what's her name? Nina West both did Liberace, which is, like, right. so wild it's- that two people chose Liberace. But it was very fun. It was very good. <clears throat> um, another thing that we've 
been getting caught up on Eric Gordon Ramsay shows just in general because yes we finished Master Chef we finished Junior. Master Chef Junior no we finished oh we finished Hell's Kitchen yeah uh, and now we are on to Food Stars Food Stars season two featuring Lisa Vanderpump. Mm-hmm. And yes, yes, we've been watching Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, it is Team a Sandoval. shit show. I'm just Do I'm not trying. ever say that. I also hate Ariana. I actually hate everyone on that show, to be honest. Do you know what? I have really grown to like Brock. <laughs> okay, that, I, I only like James Kennedy. That scene of Brock dancing. And then right. when it went viral of Britney filming it from her end and he was like really throwing it down, I was like, you know what? He's a good dad. Right. <laughs> um, you're yeah, VPR is <laughs> wild, though. That reunion, that three part reunion. Setting it up for everybody to go to the valley. She, actually, Jax, Jax said he's like, I do not want Lala or Sheena on my show. Right. And I guarantee it's because he feels like he's going, He he's the only Vanderpump maybe he, guy. Maybe he comes back to Vanderpump Rules and Well, some that's other what I was thinking the that they were setting it up for. So mm. we haven't watched The Valley, but I heard. Well, no, we did. And no, we no, gave not up recently. On it because it um, fucking sucks. Because I, <laughs> I meant like the last few weeks. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brittany, so if you guys remember, if you guys watch VPR, Brittany uh, had like a stomach ulcer from drinking that made her really sick. And she yeah, was I like... check out during some of the shit. That's right. Salty. So apparently on the Valley, <laughs> I overheard this from Carly and Aaron, only friends pod. Right. Um, That apparently Brittany had like a drink or something and she was like puking her guts out. But while she was like vomiting, Jax is like, "Why the fuck are you getting sick? What the fuck?" And it's like, "Red bar." This, yeah, this is why you guys are getting a divorce. I mean, like, literally. oh my god. I mean, yeah, the way he treated her throughout their like their entire thing is. And he obvious. already has a new girlfriend. Yeah. Very Sandovalian. Oh, right. <laughs> they are speak birds of a feather. Billie Eilish uh, if you guys have heard the new album fantastic uh, but speaking of birds of a feather flock together uh, Jax and the Toms right not Tom-tom. good guys um, speaking of not good guys <laughs> we watched Ghost Adventures <laughs> got oh caught my up on that. god <laughs> <laughs> hang on <laughs> Um, well a couple of weeks ago well not a couple of weeks ago, the last season, there was an episode where the go- <clears throat> they got like drunk in like a mine somewhere <laughs> or something. And they were like drink giving the ghost like shots, taking and, shots like, of the ghost. Like like me old timey music. And then like the their stupid fucking fake machine thing that they have that shows like a little person outline of a person if if they you know it's all like a little stick figure guys yeah. yeah it like popped up and then it was like do they were like doing it yeah yeah <laughs> and then that happened again yeah so we're watching it okay we, we went to bed last night and we put on the newest episode so we're just like chilling minding our own business about to go to sleep and then like so they're investigating a brothel right called alleged called, by the way it's, it's, it's been renamed <laughs> to be called alleged which is <laughs> fucking disgusting, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so Zach, so Zach's like, let's let's like l- try to lure this madam out by like creating the environment that you know she might have been used to. So he gets in the bed and takes starts out his wall, takes man. a wad of cash out and just starts spreading <laughs> these bills around the bed okay it's, and he's it's a like, comedy show no yeah man. it's it's a comedy at this point he's like okay nothing's happening like she doesn't i maybe like a ghost deter we need a high what what did he call what did he say we need like a uh like a trigger object. Oh yeah, well he was talking about the money being a trigger object. But then yeah. he, they got Aaron in the yeah. bed and immediately, of course, Aaron, Mr. Jerusha himself, um, like the fucking thing like materializes at the at the foot of the bed and like you see I, I'm like I'm like in bed dying laughing. I'm like 
fake jorking off the wind because like that's what this fucking stick figure is doing right so we're like laughing laughing it's chill and then it like mounts Aaron right and like apparently like this thing is like mounting him this whole time and they're all freaking the fuck out and laughing laughing and the guy that owns this disgusting alleged bar by the way looks like justin bieber in 20 (laughs) fucking 10 the haircut the shirt everything and they're like david michael frank literally and they're showing this guy like this footage and tell me why he didn't look like surprised yeah and they start (laughs) off showing the footage to him by being like Oh yeah, he's a uh, or no, he's like we're really serious <laughs> investigators, but we're actually really funny guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's like us. In, like in, in, it's in, it, what's the word I'm looking for? Introducing our pod. Right. We're actually yeah. really serious people, <laughs> right. but we're really fucking funny guys. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. That show is so so ridiculous. It's so funny, and it's like you think <clears> that when the episode episode starts it's gonna be like i kind of want to turn this off but then something like that happens <laughs> and then you're fucking 14 seasons deep you know right. like there are 28 seasons into that show no i'm new here <laughs> i was a ghost adventures <laughs> hater and now right. i'm here for the comedy <laughs> um well we ended up uh, switching gears we ended up watching baby reindeer uh, <laughs> and we can just kind of like go like bl- blow through some of these <laughs> i feel like baby reindeer has been pretty saturated by now so you guys probably uh, like i've seen it yes i will say it is a show that i gave five stars to right. i thought it was so made good you cry. it made me fucking upset <laughs> but like how many of these shows that we talked about like didn't make you cry i'm pretty sure you cried at every single one maybe except (laughs) i cry laughing maybe (laughs) but no baby reindeer was like truly so effective for me it was a show that i didn't expect to connect with right it was a show that i didn't expect to have feel like Mm -hmm. i would uh, i don't know if i episode four i believe it was if you guys know you know it was really fucking hard for me to get through. Right. Uh, and I wasn't able to speak afterwards or else I would have just cried. And I cried anyways. So. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah. And no more uh, bringing it down. Um, we love Richard Gadd, though. He's a king. Um, We want to mention that they're filming the new episode, the new season of Gemstones. Yes. Righteous Gemstones. I am so happy my mom decided Mm. to watch it. I'm so happy. Trying to get Logan on that vibe. Logan, listen to me. Logan, sweetie. Logan, Logan, honey, you got to watch it. Okay. I know you're listening. (laughs) Right. Righteous Gemstones. You got to watch it. Honestly, it's a good show. It's a great show. It has all the faves. It literally is so like if you guys if you guys like so I was approached by a customer today uh giving me a pamphlet for a Jehovah's Witness convention and they pretty much were like insinuating that like by my looks um I need to be saved and I feel like righteous gemstones is the perfect example of satirizing a mega church. Right. And that's how I feel like that Jehovah's Witness convention would have been. Also, you know where it's happening at? Where? The fucking WFCU Center. Right. <laughs> that's crazy. Yikes. <laughs> um, And Wal- <clears throat> Walton Goggins is in that. Yes, Walton Goggins is baby Billy. Right. Oh my God! Such a good show. And speaking of Walton Goggins, he was also in Fallout, which we also watched. (laughs) You know what? Yes, I I sent Alex. He's in like every show that I sent Alex a screenshot (laughs) yesterday, guys. I love the games for Fallout. I was just listening to the fucking soundtrack for the fucking game yesterday for Fallout (laughs) Three. Sometimes you just gotta do it, you know. But the show hit me in in the spot. You know, in the good spot, in the nostalgia spot. Thanks. <laughs> it um, was really good. What were th- was that show like? The games? 
yes yes but there was more that i wanted mm-hmm. i wanted more from the raiders i wanted more out of the wasteland i wanted the super mutants i wanted more peril i wanted to see like when you're playing like right. you you dehydrate you you it's a it's a survival game and i feel yeah. like yeah that happened but it was more or less like oh loose they, they've been picked up by other vault dwellers they they keep getting saved and it's like i don't know i feel like you're when you're playing the game you're more or less so much on your own but right. i guess it's fine because it's like a tv show i get it but I, I I guess I just wanted it to be more of I wanted more from the wasteland. Right. Um I feel like the vaults gave me what I wanted out of the vaults. Right. But I didn't get what I wanted out of the wasteland X aspect. Yeah. No, I think I agree. I think they could have like pushed the boundaries. Maybe they'll do that in season two. And also, I would love a cameo from Liam Neeson. Right. Because he did the voice no in, in Fallout 3. Okay, moving I on. I think it would be a fun <laughs> little Easter egg thing. Um, We watched uh, The Circle. The Circle. We love, we don't have to talk about it very long, but The Circle is a reality show where it's a genuinely, like, it's fun and it's funny because these people have no idea who they're talking to behind the pictures. Right. You know, it's like, it could be a catfish. It could not be a catfish. And they are just talking through text and hashtags and trying yeah. <laughs> to get their emotions across. And it's like, when I first started watching it, I was like, this is kind of silly, but it got so good. And right. I look forward to the circle when it comes back. Yeah, right. It's it's one of my they're favorite like reality shows. Yeah, they're all, it's one of my favorite reality shows. I just think it's silly. Um, We are... Are we ju- we finished True Detective season four? Yeah, so I have never seen any other season of True Detective. I watched like part of the first season. Uh, but hearing that this newer season had horror elements made me want to check it out, and I loved the story. It was so good. Corpsicle. The corpsicle. That's fucking metal as fuck. <laughs> yeah, right. And we should uh name our band that. Corpsicle? <laughs> yeah. If someone's we claim it. Okay, right. we claim it right here right now. If someone takes it, we're suing. Even though it came from a TV show. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> um Jody Foster was in that. Yes, very good. She was really good in it. And I really love following the native storyline. I love following the aspect, the, the, the just, I don't know. It, it just seems like the, the stories that are being told are so interesting and so uh, uh, true to the culture. And right. it, it just feels like a different, like something we don't get, but we should get more of. True. And uh, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, well, maybe we can like wrap it up here. But um, we watched Girls uh, rewatch for you. Um, first watch for me. I needed it. I. Um, do you know what we never got to? Because we never fucking finished it. There was like one episode. No, there left. was like five episodes left, and we never saw the good soup episode, bitch. <clears throat> um. That show sucks. Anyway, um, <laughs> we, watched, <laughs> um, we watched ba- Viva La Bam again. Re- second time second we time watched together. rewatched together. Yeah, I can't tell you how many <clears throat> times I've seen it myself. It's, yeah, I wa- I watched it like when it was on TV, and I would always catch like reruns and shit. And we have it on DVD. Yes. And, and we got caught up on all the CKY. Oh my well. god! Don't get me started. The music in CKY is my favorite. Right. <laughs> I love the Bloodhound Gang. I saw this video of uh, Ramstein because didn't they have like a one of the Duhast <laughs> is in one of the videos, right? I and believe I saw this CKY too of, of uh, Ramstein. They don't look that good anymore. I know it's not looking good. I think they Till like has Grand a side Buds. project now. I'm glad that I got to see them, guys. I saw Ramstein in 2012. 
I believe it was. It looks like they're still trying to do that kind of shtick that they did, like, even back then. But they just look really old and, like, decrepit and tired. And, like, I get it because they're, like, literally fucking old as fuck. But, yeah, like, they, they look looked it. old when I saw them. <laughs> but when I saw them, I used the rest of my student <clears throat> loan money. Jesus. It was $88 for a ticket. It was the front row of like the first part of the stand. So like we were pretty fucking close to them. And I indeed got sprayed by <clears throat> the paper mache penis when he sprays it, the foam all over the audience. That's disgusting. Disgusting. It was a night I will never forget. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, on that note. On that note. <laughs> paper mache penis <laughs> should we rebuild it all right <laughs> well how was this podcast episode it was chill it's chill we're chilling we're chilling killing hopefully like our mics recorded properly but it's okay if not yeah if you could just hear me, <gasps> me. <laughs> like fucking heavy breathing into the mic i'm sorry me guys <laughs> <Yawning>. <laughs> Uh, it's, not, it's sounding like Red Scare over here. <laughs> That's what their podcast sounds like. They're just there's literally episodes where like they're just like drinking like a, a, a. First of all, there was an episode where they literally didn't even turn on the mic and, and they just kept all of the silence in. <laughs> huh? And then there was an episode where they were literally just like jiggling their fucking iced coffees, like you know how you girls like swirl it around. Shut up! They're yeah. Just, like, <laughs> Like in the mic. <laughs> it's <talking>. camp. <laughs> like, Love it. Terrible. <laughs> That's um, funny. Well, signing off. This is Nefarious Things. Popo's out. Popo's out. A chill Popo's out for tonight. Chill Popo's out. That's All Kevin right. Federline. I, I never right. want you guys to forget that. Kevin Federline is the originator of Popo Zao. Popo Zao.